Good evening. A man on Friday was jailed for six years for disturbing several bodies and having sex with a corpse in a funeral home in Britain. Kasim Kuram, 23, at the time of his offence, was found to have been both drunk on vodka and high on artificial cannabis and PCP, a mind-altering recreational substance. He was caught at a funeral parlour in, in Birmingham on November 11th last year when police officers reacted to the ringing alarm system. Judge Melbourne Inman said nine coffins and three bodies were disturbed in the break-in during which Kuram had taken one female victim out of her coffin and removed some of her clothing. Defense lawyer Joseph Keating said Kuram, who pleaded guilty at an earlier hearing, was deeply sorry for what he had done and that his actions were out of character. A successful test of a new cruise missile with a range of over 1,350 kilometers has been announced on Saturday in Iran and has accurately hit the set target. Defense Minister Amir Hatami said the Hawaii cruise missile can be ready in the shortest time possible and flies at a very low altitude. Described as the long arm of the Islamic Republic of Iran, the Hawaii is part of the Somar group of cruise missile first unveiled in 2015. Voluntarily limiting the range of its missiles to 2,000 kilometers, sufficient to reach Israel and Western bases in the Middle East, Iran has no intention of increasing the range. Once-in-a-century floods have turned streets into rivers and forced thousands to abandon their homes in northeast Australia. Australia's tropical north experiences heavy rains during monsoon season at this time of the year, but the recent torrent has surged far above normal levels with adverse weather predicted to continue for up to 72 hours. Up to 20,000 homes in the city of Townsville in northeast Queensland are at risk of being inundated if the rains continue. Tens of thousands of sa sandbags were delivered to affected locals by the military military personnel and conditions are expected to ease starting Thursday. That is all the world needs for now. I'm Shira Abang Manso for TV Sarawak, anytime, anywhere.